made on the, the driver that was involved in the accident? I forget, has she been let go? I forget if anything's uh, happened. The, the, the operator, uh, Sandy Day, is on workers' comp right now, and she's availing herself of the due process procedures that we have for employees in this case. So that review continues to be underway. In your ban on personal devices, is there, I've noticed just randomly, that sometimes drivers are eating snacks or, you know, otherwise, uh, you know, as distracted as using personal devices. Is that already a policy? The current policy is that the devices be um, stowed away. Uh, this new policy is that they will be stowed away and they will be turned off so while they are operating the vehicle. I was talking about like lunch or something. Eating. At, at lunch, um, I mean, we all manage our life, right? right? So, and often cell phones are a useful thing. Uh, if they're out of the vehicle um, and away from the operating environment, they can use I guess I'm not making myself clear. Are drivers allowed to eat while they're driving? Not while they're driving. And that's already an established policy. Yeah. Okay. So if someone sees one, then that would be, that driver would know they should be doing that. The uh, drivers, uh, you'll, you'll notice that they occasionally drink. Right. Uh, they have cool water, for example, hot days exactly. recently. That's, so that's that's the, the that's certainly the established procedure. Uh, but, but as far as opening up a copper made from home and I, we would say that that's what the end of the line uh, layover time is for. Okay. How many members on the task force? There's about 12, 12. total. Okay. And you have a list of the names okay. associated with it. So 12 total, and it's going to start, you said, sometime this month? It will, we expect the first meeting the second half of the July. That's right. Can you talk about any policies or procedures that have been implemented um, so far since the accident? I noticed uh, a no left turn on the ramp, but eastbound off the uh, Hawthorne Bridge, for instance, the buses are not to use the, the left turn ramp, but they're supposed to proceed east through Grand Avenue and then make a left turn. Have there been any other policy changes or anything that have been implemented? We've made policy? two major that I know of, and one is uh, the Hawthorne Bridge vicinity, as you just described, and the other is on 4th Avenue uh, near PSU, where some of the buses who we're going to be asked to make a, 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 a left turn shortly after servicing a stop on the right-hand side of the road are now skipping that stop in order to be in a better position to make a safe left turn uh, further down the road. The uh, and I would note that that review, comprehensive review of 81 of our, of our 81 bus lines is underway. Still, uh, as recommendations come forward, we'll continue to add uh, changes as they seem to be required. Are you envisioning any major, other major specific changes right now, or what you're thinking besides the three that you just mentioned? The three that we've mentioned right now, I do believe that the task force will also look at a number of specific changes. Um, but I would also say that the recommendations from the National Safety Expert has 91, the first phase recommendations were 91 different recommendations, and so we are tracking each of those. Some of those will take a little time to implement. But for example, uh, we are uh, working on our, our communications, on our safety training, on all those aspects of the, of the job. I might note that the uh, task force, uh, excuse me, the national safety expert, did um, note that TriMet really does have a state-of-the-art safety program. But what we're, of course, looking for is how can we do even better? How can we improve our performance? because no accident is an acceptable accident. Out of the 91 recommendations, can you give me a specific example? And maybe, I'm sorry, I apologize, I stepped in late, so I don't know if it's already been listed actually on here, but you said that some of them will be difficult to implement or that kind of thing. Can you give me a specific? Um, enhanced driver training. Uh, where, for example, one of the recommendations that um, the former general manager noted that we had um, implemented was a policy that Currently, an operator has 30 days. If they're off work for 30 days, they have refresher training before they come back. Previously, that didn't apply to vacations of 30 days or longer. It just leaves of absence and that sort of thing. So now that applies to any leave, any absence from the job for 30 days now requires refresher training. That's an example. 
Um, there are other uh, changes. Um, another change that I've noticed here today was the organizational change of bringing safety further higher in the hierarchy of the organization to reemphasize its importance to all employees. Um, those are just a few. Uh, there's a long list that we can provide you with a full report. We have copies of the phase one if you would like them. Coming into a job after uh, Mr. Hansen's departure and uh, having to deal with such these issues that take me on a some emotional level after what happened. There's no question, and uh, my commitment is a very personal one to improve in any way we possibly can safety of TriMet operations. I don't think we're in uh, difficult or they're terrible situations right now in terms of our, our safety operations. But obviously anything we can do to avoid anything like this, again, we, we have to do. And if there's anything that keeps me awake at night, that's thinking about this is what it what does. And your message to the family and the families who are involved? Is that we take this very seriously and we're working very hard to achieve the best result we can. Have you solicited input from either the, uh, the Drivers uh, Union or other transit agencies around the country to, to find out what they're doing? Absolutely. And um, again, we would expect that the, the Amalgamated Transit Workers Union will be involved in these uh, task force procedures. It's an opportunity for them to um, share their views um, as they do with us on a fairly regular basis. Um, and it's also a way to share that with the public at the same time. And again, part of the National uh, Safety Review's expert, uh, or experts have been looking at the experience of other um, transit operations around the country and bringing those best practices to try them. So to the extent that we haven't uh, been aware of another practice or a procedure that is used, um, this whole effort is intended to make sure that we're aware of those and consider those in the future. 